I'm Anne, the editor of The Vault. I'm here today with Charles Gora, the founder and CEO of Rebag. We're going to address all your questions surrounding value and investment in designer handbags and accessories and the luxury houses that produce them. Hi Charles, how are you doing today? Hey Anne, good, great to be here, thank you. For handbags, what brands are absolutely worth the cost with a strong return on investment? Yeah, so in the world of handbags, there's really three brands uh, that are apart, uh, typically Hermes, uh, Louis Vuitton and Chanel. Uh, so that's not too surprising. I think what's been interesting this year is that the brands that, that were the strongest uh, became even stronger. So uh, if you look at Hermes, for instance, it's now trading on average at 90% uh, of retail, uh, which is about 10% more than, than, than last year in terms of movements. A lot of that being powered by things like the, the Birkin and, and the Kelly, uh, obviously. Uh, interestingly, Louis Vuitton had a, a great year. We saw a massive increase there, uh, now trading at 80% uh, on average. Uh, on its retail value, uh, with some models, frankly, being deeply over over retail. Uh, when you look at things, for instance, like the, the Palm Springs, uh, and then obviously Chanel is right there uh, at the 75% mark. Again, quite some good, good movement this year. And you see models like Coco Top Handle and others that are, you know, around, around par as well. Aside from the regular top performers, were there any other brands that have increased in value? Yeah, absolutely. So this year uh, we saw some some uh, great push by Bottega. Yeah, so it's been uh, they've been on a run, uh, frankly, for the last couple of years, uh, pretty much since uh, Daniel Lee, you know, came in, and we're seeing a massive impact uh, on the resale side of things. Uh, they're trading now close to 50% uh, versus retail. Two years ago, they were just under the 30% mark. So it's it's a very significant movement. Wow, so Daniel Lee's really turning Bottega Veneta into the next luxury darling. What new Bottega styles are most appealing? Styles that they put out, um, things like the, the cassette uh, or the Jody Hobo, they're trading now at 90% of retail, right? So just 10% uh, off essentially from, from their retail price. So this is very comparable to things like, you know, Chanel classic flaps, etc. So uh, it's very, uh, it's at the top of the market for sure. Um, and even, you know, the, the, the pouches, etc. they're often at the, you know, 80% mark as well. So if you're, if you're buying Bottega, you're, you're for sure making a great investment right now. That's really impressive. Let's talk about the value of timepieces in buying jewelry. What brands and models are the top performers in those areas? Yeah, so this is this is new for us. Uh, we started carrying uh, timepieces and, and jewelry uh, about a year ago now. So we do we do have this data uh, in the world of jewelry. Uh, Van Cleef uh, is sort of the Hermes equivalent uh, in the jewelry world, you could say. Pretty close to retail value, you know, 95% on average. Uh, in particular, uh, the Alhambra collection uh, often trades, you know, deeply above retail. Actually, um, you also have, uh, you know, in the world of time timepieces, obviously Rolex is sort of in a world of its own. I mean, there's sort of a large range of outcomes there. On average, we're at sort of the 80% mark, but uh, often we're above uh, retail there. Uh, if you look at some of the Submariners, in particular, Oyster Perpetual, uh, and I'm not even mentioning Daytonas, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in jewelry as well, um, Cartier, you know, has kind of a special place, uh, sort of, you know, mid, mid 70s uh, value retention. Uh, in particular, things like the, the love collections or lo love bracelet, uh, you know, love earrings, uh, they're typically also uh, above retail uh, quite often. 2021 is coming to a close soon. What luxury models do you recommend investing in? Yeah, so typically we, we like to publish what we call the Claire Picks, right, which is essentially our, our highlights of, uh, you know, things that are uh, at the peak of desirability right now. In the world of handbags, uh, we'd like to point out the Chanel 19. Uh, that's very much uh, in demand right now. I think the price increased over 20% uh, on a year-on-year -year basis. So uh, if you've got this, it's a hot commodity uh, at this point. In jewelry, uh, we can highlight the, the Van Cleef, um, some uh, Alhambra necklace. Uh, again, that was over you know, 20% increase uh, in payouts over the last year. 
very desirable. Interestingly, this is one where if you take reback credit, uh, which is sort of our, our reback currency, you get 100% of retail. Right? So I, I always find this pretty attractive when you can make back your retail dollars uh, in terms of your resale payouts. Uh, in the world of watches, I mean, we could highlight so many Rolexes, etc. cetera, but uh, we can talk about Daytonas a little bit. Uh, right now, the Daytonas are often two times their uh, retail value in the market. Uh, they've increased here yeah, for sure double digit and more uh, in, the last, uh, in the last year. Uh, so it's very steep, uh, very hard to put your hands on to uh, highly liquid. And in the world of accessories, I mean, we, we can highlight the, the Gucci pouch, for instance, which uh, uh, you know, increased over 35% year on year wow. in terms of payout. So I would say uh, it's a bit extraordinary in a way. And I guess what's interesting about it is, uh, you know, uh, some things move in the resale market and they're not always the really expensive items. So you can also uh, make uh, essentially good returns on investment at you know different price points. Now let's look into the future. What trends do you anticipate will blow up over the next year? The number one is uh, we believe in uh, the Tiffany brand right now. Uh, as you know, it got uh, acquired recently by LVMH, uh, and they're changing things up uh, big time there significantly. Uh, we think they're, they're going to have a lot of impact, especially when they bring their, their own playbook to the brand. They've they started hiring now you know, Jay-Z and uh, uh, you know, Beyonce for, for an ad campaign. They did this other ad campaign on Not, Not Your Mother, Tiffany's, to appeal to a younger generation. So we think uh, a lot of upside in the Tiffany brand right now. In the world of leather goods, uh, I would say we're still big believers in Danielle's work at Bottega. Um, there's been a, a favorable trend for sure over the last couple of years, and we think that's going to continue. Um, there, there is a path where in the next uh, few years, or sort of in the short to medium term, that the, the Bottega leather goods become uh, somehow comparable to you know, Chanel or, or, or Louis Vuitton. So we see a, a, a lot of uh, momentum there. Um, and then in watches, I mean, there's obviously this debate on uh, the watch inflation, uh, at least timepieces uh, that's going on right now. To be honest, we don't see that stopping uh, imminently. Uh, you know, we're, we're in a world where you know, interest rates are low and, and liquidity is somehow available. And uh, I think there's a lot of that that's fueling that inflation in terms of these hard assets. Uh, you know, it's, it's almost impossible to find a Rolex right now uh, in the primary market, and then that's by design fueling the, the secondary prices. We, you know, there's people who you know buy them firsthand and, and can flip them pretty much instantly in the secondary market. Um, you can look at you know what's happened on Patek Philippe and, and some of the models and, and some of the Nautilus that was you know discontinued is completely skyrocketing and. I think they even sold one for like half a million dollars, you know, at an auction somewhere in Monaco. So uh, we we see timepieces remaining, uh, you know, a statement piece there, and, and and we don't think that's stopping anytime soon. Such incredible findings and commentary on the luxury market. Thank you for your time, Charles. Thank you, Anne. You're welcome. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the 2021 Clairport and visit Rebag.com for your next luxury discovery.